Greetings, everyone, and welcome to another session of Roll for Attention, the Tales of Ember Victus. Hi! We're back again. It's been a... We've played every other day this week. Yes, we have. We still are going to, yeah, because... Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Friday, Sunday. This is literally turning into a part-time job. Yeah, love it. Not complaining. Nobody here is complaining. Nope. So, as always, it is nice to meet all of you. Before we roll into tonight's episode, as always, a quick little, uh, quick line of announcements. First and foremost... From our lovely sponsor, Dice and the... For the Dice Goblin and you. Yes. Yeah, show off that um, chunky boy Umbra of Vic. Hell yeah. Yes, have a wide yeah. selection. Yeah. yeah, all the chunky boys, show them off. Um, great selection of dice for all your tabletop RPG needs. Uh, use our promo code ATTENTION to get 10% off your first purchase if you've already used the promo code. Keep using the promo code to let Dice Envy know we sent you. Because we love them. You love them. And you love us. You love us. They do. Um, uh, merch store through Zazzle. It will appear on the screen. Because so and oh, yes, some magic. Magic. Ian is magic. Ian is magic. Is magic. It will also be in the um, description. Your as you can see. Sweatshirt? As you can see, Anna is wearing our new sweatshirt. It's so good. It's so it is comfy. very comfy. So soft. I can even screenshot soft. and yeah. blow that up. Yeah. <laughs> really soft. That was like real reaction. Real people not actually. It's, it's like polar fleece on the inside. <laughs> yes. It's, it's nice. It's so cozy. Yes. That has, we've got our roll for attention mugs, the Servalarian Stein, the Coriana mugs, car magnets. So definitely check it out. Church key. Church key. Yes. 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 I will be. That will be on my. That will be on I'm my key it's ring. I know. Um, as always, quick shout. Lovely shout outs to Hero Forge and Dice Envy. Um, you said I said Dice, Dice Envy, Envy because I want to shout them out again because I love them. Um, no. D and D Beyond. Yes. Uh, Hero Forge 2.0 oh, just came man. out. Yes. And you can color. We all colorize our minis and we're really excited about it. Yes, them, so. you all colorize your minis. I sent those pictures to the person who will be painting them. I can't wait. So your minis... So the minis will be going away for a little bit because they're going to be getting painted soon. Yay. Send them to the shop. Yep. Speaking of that, during break, we need to collect your... Uh, yep. Yeah, I was yep. going to say, don't let me forget. Yep, no. We're, unlike the last episode, we are like, oh, we're going to pick our winner. That didn't happen. That didn't happen. Totally forgot. On brand with the ADHD. Completely on brand. All good. All good. Also, we do have our website through Wix. Yay! Wix, yes. Wix. Uh, link will be in the description. Yep. Um, nothing's posted yet. It is going to be like a little, it will be a blog spot. Have all our social medias, our Twitter, Instagram, mm -hmm. Facebook, all that, our YouTube, all that. Crossing my fingers that by the time this actually gets posted, there will be at least one more master post on the blog. Yes, we were trying to, for those of you just joining us, we will do, Kaylee is in charge of the lore mastering stuff. She will be... I mean, I don't know why. I don't know why it's not you have three notebooks in one. So yeah, so definitely check that out. And we love you. We appreciate you. Thank you for checking, checking in every episode. So... With that out of the way, I believe you, we are ready to roll into tonight's episode. So, where we... I don't want to hear it. Audible gulp. Where we last left off. Um, Kor and Oriana being surrounded by Hulkhead's followers. Or minions, as you called them. Cronies. Cronies. Goons. Um, trying to take them away. With, uh, with Kor using her new Sorry. new Eldritch Claw tattoo oh, and Oriana using Shatter, um, had the Sharn Guard take notice and break up a potential fight of act of violence happening on their streets. Thankfully, it worked. Keep um, that in mind, if we're in a big city, just cast a really loud spell. <laughs> um, headed to Velvet's. Velvet's Bar to wait for OU, Talia, and Sir Valerian to meet up with them. Got, or yeah, I got a little drunk. Took forever. Took forever. Hey. I mean, they took, too, they took too long, and I had the opportunity to drink a half a bottle of fire whiskey. Just because you can doesn't mean you should. Tell that to the deep link. No, I'm not going <laughs> <laughs> Hey, my 
wisdom may be low, but no, 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 no. <laughs> yes. Um, primal savagery, your ass. No, thank you. Oh, you, Talia, and Sir Valerian did make their way down. Talia identifying the wand they had bought was a wand of magic missile, yeah. as well as the necklace of fireball. Or, as we have now called it, nuke. The necklace, yeah. the the necklace of nuke. The necklace of nuke. I'm sorry, with an action, as a 7th level character, you can cast upwards of a ninth level fireball. Yeah, necklace of nuke. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> ne- necklace of Adam. Yeah, necklace Ball. of nuke. Because you don't get ninth level spells till level 17. Yep. <laughs> yeah, so. Well, it would be even over that. Because each one's a 3rd level, and there are 8 of them. Anyways. Anyways. <laughs> um, it's really early. Damn, sorry. Oriana, um, Talia... Using her alchemist uh, medicine maker. Thank you. Alchemist medicine maker decided to make it a vial of lesser restoration and cure Oriana of her drunkenness. And Oriana. Didn't like that either. Yeah, didn't not like that either. Not, not happy. happy. Kind of stormed out. No, 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 no. That's not why she stormed out. She stormed out because I. No. Because I had OU pickpocket her for the magic missiles wand. And then Valerian insulted her. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Intentionally, no. but had no idea. Paladin stepped in it. It's a thing. Yep. <laughs> uh, I could say hi and it insults her. So <laughs> lawful good chaotic evil. It's fine. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Uh, as Oriana walked out, the leader of the Hawkheads group had put an idea into Oriana's mind to follow him, which she did. Core giving chase, initiated a fight against this member of Hulkhead's group and Oriana, to which the rest of the group came, came in, <clears throat> beat him down since he was alone, lost control of Oriana, and knowing that he could not win this fight, went invisible and escaped. Uh, made your way to uh, do, 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 the do, do, ship towers, ship towers in, to rest up, try to figure out what you're going to do, how how to get to uh, Flint Keep because you did you guys tried to get a ship and the captain of that ship had noticed that Sir Valerian was wearing armor that no longer existed. Except in a museum. Pretty much, yeah. It's okay. Pause. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, <clears throat> um, well, contacted cool. Damien again because... Time frame. He should be back. He should be in charge. Well, charm. no, it's because Navara. I asked Navara, "How do we get there?" Yes. And she sent me a vision of yes. me. Yes. Yes. What a that. twist! What a twist! What a twist! But yes. Uh, board the sky coach to make your way to yeah. to the ambassador I towers, uh, embassy district to meet up with Damien, see if he could help you guys, and uh, boarded a sky coach to go to Middle Central, and as you did, the first Shadow Watcher, Nero, made his appearance because of Tari and Kala. Oh. To which point, Nero said that you were hard to find, and what had happened. That's where we left off, and as you can tell, I'm starting to lose my voice for some reason. <laughs> <coughs> Come so, on, clear it up. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yes. So, picking up. What was that? Core. Yeah. So, you've been looking for me, and I've been looking for you. I don't know why you're looking for me. Well... You know, I'm a Shadow Watcher. I try to keep tabs on all Shadow Watchers. But it seems that you and Vashara have gotten... Well, cogs are starting to move with what you've been doing. Yeah. Apparently this, uh... Hulkhead has aligned himself with a group called the uh, Golden Order. So he is officially aligned with them? Officially, yes. Do you, what do you know about this order? Um, 
from what the fellow Shadow Watchers could gather, the follow or worship, whichever word you prefer, a ancient golden dragon named Midsommar that had been sealed away during the Battle of Shadowkar during the last war. Uh, trying to free it. Bring it back and... Apparently this orb, this orb of Dahathi, is a... Well, Arkai needs it more than the Golden Order, but it's a gift. A sense of trust between this so-called allegiance that Hawkad and the Golden Order have made. I didn't realize we were after the same thing then. Neither did I. Mm. By the way, these are my friends. It's nice to meet all of you. Hello. Hello? So, Hulkhat has given this orb to... Not given, it's... If it's not in Hawkhead's possession, then it's in the General's possession. Caius. You've heard of Caius. Same time you heard, heard of Midsommar. He's been mentioned. Mm, yes. If it's not in Hawkhead's possession, then it's in Caius's, but... Whatever... Whatever the... Besides the end goal of releasing Midsommar, the orb should be returned to Hawkhead. Any idea where their last known location is? I don't... I don't know. Well, clearly somewhere nearby, if you're trying to... See, they are your best stuff. <laughs> it's Jumanji Costco, dear. Let them spell it how they want to spell it. It's Jumanji, Jumanji Costco! Costco. <laughs> All good. Assuming that Hawkat is nearby because he has tried to find me, take me twice now. And, and me. And her. He's mad at her. For the simple reason of why you were able to find me. She was able to dispel the tattoo that was put on me when I was brought down by Hawkat. For some reason, he left me alive. Any idea what that reason is? He told me that he wants me to know the truth, or find the truth. And my quarry were able to tell me what that was. Mm, do they know? How do they know? Do they know? Um, look, your friends. A look on your face. It's a theory. And I can't confirm or deny it to you. But it's not new. It could happen. So what would cause him to believe it's so permanently? Alkahed was a brilliant student. But he took everything literal became obsessed with learning about the Dreaming Dark. I Ilyana, the age of Ilyana, of Ilya Yavashtar, and by obsessed, would rarely sleep, read as much, as many books as he can, try to gather as much information, and then one day, he just snapped. Reading could be a bad thing. It depends on what you're reading about. That's true. So I know. I, that I won't expose that core, but I can't confirm or deny it to you. Oh, I mean, I think they need to know at some point anyway, so. That's on you, not me. Part of. My job as a Kalashar is to control my emotions, and I would be lying if I said that I don't want to die. 
how am I supposed to follow this path if it leads to my death? How do you do it? I take myself out of the equation. If we were to die, I think of all the good that it will do. That's what I thought. Not it doesn't really matter. I think that's where Hawkhead failed. He can't take himself out of the equation. Selfishness. In a way. Self oh. Selfishness, self-preservation. Ego. How is it selfish to not want to die? As Kalashar, we are made to fight this entity. This our, our goal is to bring about Ilyana. I, there is nothing. I wouldn't be here. It's a, it's okay, a war. Well, what am I missing then? How does that mean you die? Falkhard's theory is if, or I guess this theory that has been around for a long time, if the age of Ilyana is brought about, um, the quarry are freed, and the humans that they inhabit, me, die. But, you s I don't understand. They would have to kill you, because otherwise your body is your body. You'd think you would just become human, and just lose your powers. Part of it is not that easy. Part of their soul. I'd be losing part of my soul. And I have two. I don't know what that means. Did you know? You have two? I have two. I did not know that. That's news to me. Is Tari doing anything? Um. Staying silent, but she is in that jittery, like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, it's like, okay, there's the spotlight. Nope. 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 <laughs> oh, shit, there's a wall. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I'm now going to get as small as humanly possible. Miss Quirrell. Oh, God. <laughs> nice. Nice. That was a good pun. I'd be lying if I said I didn't think it, but she said it first. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. 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 How do you have two? No idea. I learned that I had to not very long ago myself. I'm really glad I found you then. I guess uh, it makes me special. I don't know. I didn't want to be special. But here we are. So where are you headed to now? Well, we've got lots of things figure out. But my most pressing matter is dealing with Oriana's situation. And your situation? I'll let you share if you want to share. Well, I don't really know him. The cliff note says it's a matter of life and death. Cliff Notes is shipwreck, sold my soul to Dread Leviathan in order to live, now owned by her, trying to get to uh, Flint Keep for something involving this. Nice Cliff Notes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is there a time frame on that? Uh, you just. ASAP. Alright. Seems like every time you talk to her, she pushes it up. Mm -hmm. I've been able to dodge Hulk has advances for some time, but now that my. Tattoo has been dispelled. He seems more pissed now than ever. So I'm I keep getting stopped. 
in my process of making headway on this, the only thing that I care about. But I also feel guilty for that being the only thing I care about. Well, the Golden Order was keeping to the shadows and doing things in secret, but this past month they've decided to expose their operations. Gain, gain shipments of weapons, making camps. What kind of weapons? Um, guns? Guns, magical, magical swords, magical armor, guns. Magical guns? Probably when Melvin was taking the guns. Um, I, I believe so. I. Again, I only get as much details as my shower washers can give me. Well, if anybody's going to be in league with groups like that, we put it past him. Yeah. They're making the Five Nations uneasy. uneasy. Well, there's a lot of guns. Yeah. An entire armory full of bolts. 13. You saw, you, you, you yourself saw this. I experienced the uh, magical one that they had. Elder Nova, I think they called it. She was even shocked by it. Uh, experienced, yes. That's why I assume what the experience part is. Um, who delivered these or how? Where did you come across them? We have... By an airship and marketplace? Yep. Unloaded and put on a caravan. Heading not to where we were going. Heading north. So we're into Thrain or on there. At least that was the direction they were heading when out we of the market. That you saw. Yes. They left north. They may have. Well, it's gotten most leaders of the Five Nations concerned after the attack on Thrain, Flames Keep, by, well, to our reports, the Emerald Claw and Lord of Blades. The Golden Order took that distraction and used it to their advantage. Malward say he was on the Bleak Council's shit list? Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. What do you know of the Bleak Council? Uh, nothing. I don't... That's out of our range. We mostly deal in Cory and <coughs> Dreaming Dark and what goes around in Corvair and in Sarlona, so... I'll keep a ear to the ground if I ever hear a bleak council, and so will the rest of the Shawwashers core. If you know, learn anything. Yeah. Is Fashara okay? I finally got to hear from her, and she's in, currently in the Elden Reaches on her way to Fairhaven. However, as much as I would like to meet her, we have been kicked out of Fairhaven. So our attempt to get back in will be interesting, but I will be meeting up with her soon. Why did you get kicked out? An incident. A wayward firebolt in a public area. To be fair, with a mix of other groups. To be I fair, the gentleman to no, no. stop someone from escaping. No, 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 no. To be fair, I think it was the fireball that we didn't cast. Yeah. that actually got us kicked oh, out. Oh, you mean the guy that committed suicide using a fireball? Yes. Yeah. 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 And then Malric exposing himself in the middle of the tavern. tavern yeah, that, that was great. Thing to do Did we mention that Malric hired us? Yeah. Uh, no, that's news. Uh, for what? Back up. Back up to where? Malric hired uh, us. Fairhaven. Let's Fair. start there. He hired Malric us to hired find a us shard. for a job to collect a shard. 
kind of shard? An Eberron shard? No. Manufactured green and yellow. Veins. Veins, right. Manufactured dragon shard of Sukhtesh. You know what that is. We actually know that. Yes, you know just, that. Yeah, just make sure. Yeah, I was just, I was going to bring it off. It was a manufactured dragon shard of Smoktesh. And not just in a way that it belonged to her. It contains part of her. Ask me how I know. So when she talked to you? Mind blasted, gave me a black eye. Yeah. Okay. Gone through a lot. That's just in the last, what, two, three weeks? Yeah. Yeah. But I do plan to find Bashar. Bashar is actually on Caius's lead. She's pursuing Caius. Yes. For the orb, I'm assuming. Okay. You said towards Faith. That is interesting. Why? She's in pursuit of Caius with the orb, and they're going to Fairhaven. I had one of my last reports from a Shadow Watcher in that area said there was a large group of the Golden Order and Massing near oh, 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 almost mispronounced it, my bad. That would have been bad. Olath. Does that mean anything to me? For me. Or we need both. It's in Thrain. So no. So not even near Fairhaven. No. That's in th But there's a trade route from Fairhaven you take the trade route into Thrain, go past Flames Keep, go into Olath, and then north would be Shadowcar. If he's going to Fairhaven, that means there's something there he needs. And then his next stop would, if I was a guessing person, would be Olath. I'm hopefully you're right. Yeah. Yeah. I was recently told something, kind of glances over at Talia, that I can have more than one purpose, but it doesn't feel like I can have more than one purpose. I am constantly riddled with guilt by not pursuing what I was supposed to pursue with all of my training. Uh, and it's only been a couple weeks of me pursuing this path, and I don't know what to do. You can have more, more than one. You just gotta remember the one that matters. Looking at them, they've protected you, and you've probably protected them, helped them with their shit. When the time comes, they'll help you with yours. You have to decide what's more pressing. Right now, with this golden order, it's worrisome. It's got the leaders of the Five Nations concerned and about to have a colloquy, but they haven't made any drastic measures yet. If that happens, then that should be on everyone's top of the list. I've had to make decisions before of what's more important. Do I go here or do I go there? It's, you're going through it right now. I see it in your eyes. Do you trust Bashara? With my life? Then trust that she's handling that portion of your purpose right now. I don't know if she'll forgive me for leaving her though. If you trust each other with your life, I think it'll work itself out. She's my family. The only family that either of us had left. 
I don't think it's that simple. I shall find out when you catch up. Family can forgive a lot, especially if there's a good reason for what happens. I'd say saving a life, pretty good reason. Revenge is not a good reason. I mean, from the very little that I know, I feel like this particular revenge might be something that would be able to be forgiven. I wouldn't call it revenge. I would call it vengeance. Either way. Shared interest between the pair of you, yes? So why would that not be forgiven? Maybe she sees it as we, we split the responsibilities. You're not going to know what she thinks until you talk to her. So why put yourself through this? Because at this point, you are putting yourself through this. You don't know what she thinks. So by going through and saying, well, what if this, what if this, you're taking your own dagger and digging it into your thigh. You have plenty of pain, plenty to worry about. We all do. Let that be tomorrow's problem. Kind of takes it and instantly drops it. I had the same reaction. I'm sorry. I should have warned you. I'll pick it back up. Uh, what is that? This is an Eldritch machine. It's a sundial. And it is powered by the souls of Cory. It rips open reality, thrusts you through Dalcor. Believe it or not, it was also on the person of the person of, that had the firearms. Can get you from one end of Corvair to another in about ten minutes. That's interesting. You said it was on the person that delivered the firearms. Correct. The courier of the firearms. Given by Halka. That's how he was using it to uh, transport all of his goods so quickly was by using this machine. Yeah, but I feel like Hulk heads more important than the fact that this person I understand. Had it. I'm just making a statement. I, I will stand uh, back over in my corner. <laughs> well, that explains how he's getting around so fast. Is this the only one? one? Do you know if there's he more? Has more than one. I'm assuming this is not the only item. He's become very powerful such a short amount of time. For all the wrong reasons. So, what do you want me to do with this? Keep it. Keep it? I, I don't go on airships, dear. Nor do I want to hold something like that on me. I have enough voices in my head. I expect you to use it. Again, I don't know how to destroy it. Or if I should. I don't know what kind of scene that would Could cause. be a disaster. Could be a huge arcane explosion. I'm not good in the arcane, but why risk it? I guess I'll just keep it on me. Starts using him kind of like Massage's temple again. Plus, if you destroy it, all of those quarry that are trapped in there will go back to Dalcor and be remade and reborn. So, 
I know that that's what we kind of want in the long run, but right now, that's a good thing. Less, less minions of Il Lavashtar, so. Yes, that's true. Still don't understand how this is going to work in the end, but. What, what do you think? You're going off of someone else's idea. What do you think would happen? What's your belief? if we bring about Ilyana. Well, my hope is that the Cory, ours, our Cory, would be remade, but in a better, a better place, something that aligns more with what they want, with the light kind of walks up close to you and like taps you on the forehead and then hold on to that get Hawkhead out of your head that's his belief he's trying to put that belief into your head until you question it if that's what you take your belief and hold on to it which is why I'm assuming he kept me alive to make me crazy We're all a bit crazy in our own way, but I know what you mean. His brand of crazy, yeah. <laughs> We're all a little, a little bit, bit mad here, yes, yes. <laughs> We're all that should mad be here. It's a tagline. We're all mad here. Yeah. <sighs> well, I'm just glad to find you and see you're all right. Is there a way for me to be in touch with you? Not right now, but... You'll find me when you need me. Yes. Right. Well, whatever you have to do, take care of it. And if anything happens, or if the situation grows worse, and we need you focused on this, I'll let you know. I'm just glad to see you're all right. I'm glad that I was able to find you and Sean when I wasn't Sean. Destiny fate. Yeah. All that, All that stuff, yeah. <laughs> it's weird. Weird concepts. Audible scoff from the <laughs> I was about to say, I'm looking at the gnome like, is that in game? I feel like that was an in game scoff. Um, as you're wrapping up the conversation, you feel the skyship start to slow down and make its way into the dock. And dock and the doors open. Well, it was very nice to meet all of you. Likewise. A few people, a few people to meet up with. Where so are you? He's with us. Did I have him looking out the window this entire time? <laughs> Your little goblin's under the seat. You might want to check your pockets, just... Uh, oh, oh no. He tried. Was it why you're hiding down there, you little one? Because you got caught? No, I just like sitting underneath a seat. Sure, buddy. That was nice and comfy down sure, here. Sure, buddy, come on. You know, Anki Veri is a little bit gassy. You may change... Oh, come on, come on, come on, no, no, no. <laughs> Charming. Yeah. Charming. Good luck in your travels. I'll talk to you soon. And he starts to leave. Turns around. If I do find any information of Hawkhead's truth, I'll share it. But I don't believe it for a second. You're welcome. I do it. I knew with you. Also, try to find out how you have two. 
Yeah. That's a conversation for another time. Really I've been telling her that for know. days now. Really hoping you were gonna know. No. Oh, I don't know who's gonna be able to answer this question. I've got one, and him and I talk a lot, but I don't have two. And our quarry are passed down by blood. It's That's a conversation for later. I do have a meeting to get to. I'm very sorry, but... Okay. I'll try to talk to Tyre. Tyre's? That's the second one? That's the new one? Yes. Okay. You knew about Tari, though. No, Tari is my... The one... No. Kala, Kala is my born. Kala's your born. And Tari is... The not yes. born. It's all confusing. You've been talking about Tari since I met you. Yes, that's the one that has been. That's the one that I knew about my entire life. It's very confusing. I okay, know. imagine me. You get. You just feel like a little hand, uh, hand caught on, <laughs> kind of pat you on the head. You're either going to need a stiff drink, or about two I'll weeks. Okay, or two weeks of trying to understand our kind. I wouldn't suggest it. We're very confusing, and as you've seen, we are very alien to the rest of Corvair. Yeah. She just added a whole new level that I wasn't ready for, and I'm one of her kind. <laughs> Two. Okay. Yeah. Two. He kind of just, like, closes his eyes. He is confused, too. He has no idea. And I, and I as well. Two. He just starts walking away. <laughs> so are we in Middle Central? You are in Middle Central. You are in the Ambassadors. Well, shall we, uh, try to find Damien? Let's go find the Golden Dawn. The Eternal Dawn. Oh, goodness. If you just combine two again. different ships. <laughs> what is happening? My, my... Tired ass just heard, let's go find the golden dog. <laughs> yeah, and that's, <laughs> yeah. And that's what I said, which was the golden just, wind and the no, eternal dog. No, 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 she no. said dong. No, no, no. Oh, dong. <laughs> like, and I just. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. Oh. It's It's fine. Uh, it's you, fine. Uh, getting off of the sky coach, you do see the Eternal Dawn about 350 feet uh, northwest of you guys. Is it docked or is Still it docked. coming in? Okay, Still docked. Uh, you do see... Uh, eh, you all have good eyesight. You do see a the, la the last load, the last shipment of guns being unloaded off of his ship and being delivered and being load onto a cart and being driven away. Do we recognize anybody that is in possession of the cart? Hmm. Is this investigation or in perception? I mean, having noticed that it was a shipment of guns coming off, I would have actively looked at the cart. The cart. Um... No one you notice. Okay. No one I notice or no one I know? No. I'm sorry. Notice, no, yeah. At words. We're all, words are hard tonight for us, guys. Uh, it's going to be a long one. Oh, boy. It's only That's what she said. Oh, boy. <laughs> mm -hmm. Ladies, let's walk with purpose. Oh, you stay close. No running off. We're going back to see Damien, okay? Friend. Got it. Yes. Yes. We're going directly to the ship. No, he wasn't on the ship. He's in the embassy something or other. Embassy. Oh, no. Embassy district. Ambassador's Tower. Yes. Oh, do we want to go... Well, are we going to the ship first or are we going to see Damien first? What are we... I don't know. Damien said he was I at mean, the... Embassy Tower. Embassy I mean, tower. I personally would prefer to go see Damien first because, and she points at the guns that are getting offloaded. The last time I was anywhere near that kind of shit, 
I matched you. Right. And I'd rather not have that happen again. So if that, yeah. I just don't want to be out in the open as long as possible. Well, then we get for the ship and wait for Damien to come back. Well, that's what I was thinking. That is an idea, but if he's staying there, we'd be waiting a really long time. Well, not necessarily. He said he was leaving tomorrow. Yeah. And sleep on an empty ship. Could have fun. And I think I did a game with Para. Not if Para's not on the ship. Oh, damn. <laughs> Let's go find Damien. Yeah. Let's go find this ambassador's the tower. Embassy tower. It's Embassy. called the Ambassador Towers em- Ambassador Embassy. Ambassador Towers de- in the Embassy. The district. Embassy Suite. Yes. <laughs> Hold on. So we're gonna make our way to the... The largest tower in this district. Spectacular. So easy to find. Yes. Uh, it is... Because of how the war, because of how the ward is set up. One second. Uh, you guys are in the west western side of the Ambassador Towers. Uh, the tower is in the central area of this district. So from the sky docks, you do you see a tower that is about seventy five hundred feet tall. And it looks like it's almost going to hit upper central, but it's just tall enough where it's not piercing hmm. the the tower above it. Shit. <laughs> okay, don't look up too long, otherwise you'll get dizzy. Sorry. What? That. <laughs> okay, noted. Taking shaky steps towards the very tall tower. <laughs> Okay. You probably also get a room over here. Yeah. What time is it? Six o'clock. Might as well. Should probably also eat something. Get some food, get some sleep. Yeah. Get myself salted. Uh, walking in to the tower, you do see Damien oh, talking to a half-elven male um, wearing familiar armor that you've seen. Golden plate armor with the dragon in the center of the plate. Mm-hmm. Uh, shaking his hand and handing him a uh, coin pouch. And this half-elven male begins to walk away and head upstairs. Uh, Captain Damien. Ah. Perfect timing, it would seem. It would. How have you been since the past couple days? I mean, fine. Just from shadow marches to here, taking care of business, finishing our last bit of transactions. Would that mean that you would be available for uh, hire at the moment? Uh... Actually, I'm freed up. That was my last bit of deliveries. Excellent. We need to go to Fleet Keep. Let's have a seat over and we'll talk over drinks. Straight to the point, my darling. Straight to the point. You see him go like, okay. So, I was actually glad to see you for 30 seconds. New record. (laughs) Flint Keep. Hold on, hold on. Let's have some drinks and food and we'll talk it over. God, point of order. You said Merrick was human. Hmm? You said he was human. He was talking to a half elven. Yeah, he was talking to a different, different guy. Okay. He was wearing okay. the similar armor. Same the armor. way that it was, pre- it sounded like you were talking like it was the same person wearing the same armor because that's mm. how you described his ass when he came back. No, <laughs> no, half elven wearing familiar armor you've seen. Okay. Mechanics wearing same armor, different dude. Got it. I got that now. <laughs> Mechanics like, hey, name's Joe, but his name tag says Matt. What's wrong? Yes. Shit. Drinks. Yes. Fire whiskey. That table there. Let's go. 
Straight to the point, as always. Do you remember to the left? It's come up a couple of times. Yes. Excellent. Why in the gods do you need to go to Flintkeep? We don't have oh, to go wait, to wait, Flintkeep. Wait, wait, pause. What happened to the are last we I say, are we still at the point questions? where you don't want to know everything? Or do you want to know everything? Because we can give you everything. Okay, stop, because both of you just completely talked over each other. Yep. <laughs> then that's exactly what would have happened. Yeah, no, this is the <laughs> on-brand roleplay. For shits and or giggles, I would actually like to know of why we would even need to go near Flintkeep. Captain. Thank you. Slides across the table. That's terrifying. You don't usually ask questions. Terrifying. You know what that key goes when to? When it comes to you, I actually have to start asking questions. No disrespect. No, no. We broke him. We appreciate that you ask well, questions, dear. The know? jobs I usually take are easy when it comes to you. Bad shit happens. Are you familiar? She'll look at the key that Oriana passed over. Not a clue. And why'd you say then that that was terrifying? Because that's a key that's like has bones and teeth on it. That's not a key. That's fucking terrifying. I mean, it's a key, yeah, but Keys I'm used to metal. bones all the time. I'm used to metal. It's a fair point. Well, that key does belong to... Don't want to know. Actually, let's keep to that one. <laughs> that one I don't want to know. That one I don't want to know. Okay. And that key is... Goes to some door in front <laughs> So... We would not amazing. be going to the base. Hopefully. Well, it is somewhere, and... Yeah, it's in Flint Keep, but... So you want me to try to drop you off and then sneak your way into a military outpost? Well, Well, the outpost is just in Flint Keep, but we don't know where in Flint Keep we need to go. No, he retconned that. Yeah, we're out. No, 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 no. You verbally told us what he showed you about him. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, the projecting image is your mind. That got yeah, no, 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 that's not what I was asking. It was poor wording on my part. I apologize. So, yeah, words are hard, huh? Oh, I fucking hate words right now. God damn. <clears throat> so, you know, this whole uh, intertwining destiny bullshit. Oh, your favorite thing in the world. Uh, yours too. Mm-hmm. Seems that we're not done. Right. Yeah, because her, her, with a capital H, you seem to be on my patron's radar, showed her a vision of you and your ship when we asked, or she asked, for more help. Mm, great. Yeah. Amazing. <sighs> right. Nice. <laughs> And it says Ireland. Yep. Yeah, You're damn right it does. Yep. All right. I'll tell her she's a bitch. Well, I think she already knows that. It's Don't think it's a good idea. Don't think it would phase her, to be honest. At least from what you've told me. She's brought down ships. I don't think being called a bitch is going to matter. She's still a bitch. So what? what what's the job? Dropping us off. Get us to Flint Keep as close as you can. Without arousing suspicion. There's the road. You've been on my ship. Does someone have the capability? I know Simon is a pretty talented. I think making a ship to go invisible might be a little high of an order. I have just an odd thought. Okay. What about those coins of feather falling? What about them? Mm. We, we could, could basically drop in from the sky. That is a good point. If we're up high enough. Well, yeah. Right. If there's open space enough. But Do you think you could get us, maybe, as you're going out, 
get us over an open section of land near the keep? I could do that. Because then we can make the rest of the way on foot. Still doesn't answer the question of how we're getting in. That's on you. So I would... Then this is literally just wondering out loud, not a scourge on you, your ship, or anything. Why you? I mean what? Why you vision? Just How long were you on my ship? Three days? Three days. Was that about right? I don't know, I lost track after like five of my crewmates betrayed me and tried to... Yeah. Yeah, uh-huh. I don't know, because you were on my ship. She thought, instead of trying to find someone new, oh, what about this person that hates your guts? <laughs> you don't hate us. I have, I have it this on... person that doesn't ask questions. Mm. I think that one's better. Yeah, that might be it. I have it on relatively good authority that you don't hate us, per se. On whose authority? Oh, God damn it! you talked with Para. You walked in on me talking with Kara. I forgot. Alchemy jugs are tricky things. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> anyway. You still owe me a rip-roaring drunk night there, Captain. Oh, uh, you went, You got a rip-roaring drunk night with Para. I think I can... I, oh, no. I can take back that offer. Oh, no, no. Okay. No. no. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. Unless you want me to just run with what Para told me. What did Para tell you? Nope, nope, nope. Anyway, you need to get to Flint Keep, and we're talking and we're discussing business now, so let's focus on that. Focus on that. To the left, to the left. <laughs> focus on that. You have feather file tokens. Yes. Except for one of us. Didn't think I oh, would notice. Hmm. How? <laughs> God damn it. Reaches into his pouch. Flex a coin. This one's different, buddy. Don't put that in your mouth. Uh, yeah, that, that, listen, listen, that, that, <laughs> That is not money. Ah. That's not money. That's something different. That is a spell. Put it in a different part of your pouch. But don't lose it. Perfect. That'll do. I mean, the hat does say permanent, pretty much permanently attached yeah. to Yeah, his ears keep it on. Yeah. <sighs> Thank you. Now you have, all of you have had the fall tokens. Appreciate it. Drop range, drop point, just as close as I can get without, without being spotted. being spotted. Well, as inconspicuous as possible, because I'm sure they have ships that pass by coming in and out of dock all the time, but just nothing that look, that would give them any sort of concern to raise alarm, or why Basically did they all of a sudden... Away. Where five people jumping off of an airship won't look suspicious. Exactly. Well, we wouldn't be seen dropping off. Mm-hmm. Or giving us the resources to do that inconspicuously. I know there are potions that can allow you to be invisible. She can go invisible. I can. Technically, I can make anybody that I touch go invisible. But I can only do that a certain number of times. Yeah. Yeah. And I have to be thinking about it the whole time. It's kind of hard to cast multiple invisibility spells. Right. When you have to concentrate on Right, but I'm saying it doesn't have to be me. Right. I can also make myself look like somebody else. But that also requires concentration. But you'd still be a body falling from the sky. Doesn't matter who you look like, you're still a body falling from the sky. That's the that that's weird. the conspicuous. Oh uh, yeah. Mm. Oh, that is true. So I don't know if you have any kind of resources of that sort, but. You know, Simon. 
was just getting ready to ask where he was. Yeah, on the ship. Okay. Probably nose deep in a book. Again. He hasn't turned you into a Don't hold it against him. He? He's a brilliant boy. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It was funny. Hmm. Hilarious. You have your legs back. No harm, no foul. I'm also not secreting mucus all over my body, so you know pluses everywhere. And this was how long ago, dear? A while ago. Just want to give your poor boy a break. No, I think I should let I should hold over him for a while, or a few years, so he remembers and keeps getting better. Fair. Encouragement also goes a long way. I encourage him. As in, don't turn me into a fucking snail again. You're doing a great job. I don't have to kill you. <laughs> That's Fear encouragement. Is Fear is one hell of a motivation. I layer it with bad, good, mm -hmm. bad. Other way around there, darling. Sandwich, good, criticism, I can't be too good. nice. I have a reputation to keep up. People on your ship are pretty well aware of your dual reputation, dear. I was talking about the people that weren't on the ship. Well, if they're not on your ship, what's to stop you from doing that while you're in the air? Mm. Be a little nicer. Mm -hmm. Try. I'll try. try How do you shoot off? If you're going to shoot a magic spell, where do you shoot? See? Looks. <laughs> she literally just... Very slightly left. Yeah. Listing lazily to the left, yes. Yeah. Still works. Yeah, but at what cost? Sorry. At <laughs> what cost? You all left. Do you have rooms for the night, or would you like to stay on the ship? If you're offering. Well, of course I'm offering. We're about to make another business transaction. Coming to that point... This one's not free. Last Thank one? You. No, well, the last one was a favor. Understandable. Uh, you want me to go near a Brayland military outpost, try to be as secretive as possible. Unless you're not in bad favor with them, you shouldn't be too worried. Uh, I'm a trade ship, not a Brayland ship, so if I went near that, it would probably shoot me down. They are a defense outpost of the hilt. There's only Brayland mock ships that go near the two keeps of the hilt. Understandable. So I lost a feather file token, giving it to your little goblin. Uh, let's see, press the price of my ship. crew ship expenses. We'll say 70 gold. Total. 70 gold total. <clears throat> I think that's And we can all meet back up here in Sean. That sounds reasonable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, how do uh, we get out, though? Well, not being back up in Sean because that's a hell of a day's walk. That's a long walk from there. Just go around the hill back into Sean. So, uh, let's see. I don't have my map on me, so we'll th we'll, I'll figure out a rendezvous point. One that's away from Flint Keep and won't get us all shot. Would prefer that. We can do that when we're on the ship, for sure. We Absolutely. Can, we can plan that out, but so far, I, I, I don't know about you ladies, but I, I believe this is fair. Absolutely fair. Right. 70 gold? Mm -hmm. All right. Hell you. Look! Keep it on your person, and when you start to fall, it will activate. Ladies, I haven't bought any, I haven't paid or bought anything very large recently, so I will pay for this, I suppose. Thank you, Valerian. Thank you. Because I know you ladies did some fine shopping, and she needs her gold for doing the spells and crafting and everything, so this will be my yeah, good deed for the... For the group. Well, go get some rest. I assume you saw my ship when you were walking here. Yeah? We did. 
We quite it's recognizable. not that gaudy, Jesus. No, but it's recognizable. We know. It's large. When you've had as many experiences on a vessel as we have had in the last few days, dear, it tends to get burned in your memory. How did you... Oh, thank you. How did you get here? We purchased passage on a watership. Oh, please don't about. talk about... Yeah. Please don't talk about that. Please don't talk about that. Speaking of Did he throw up again? Oh, that's amazing. Anyway. Oh. Tell me the water real but good. There, there was not a lot of seafaring vessels when we left, so yes. what, what ship? was captained by a wind. gentleman who looked very similar to the one you were doing business with, but with less pointy ears. We were on the golden wind. Yeah, that's it. Oh. Insight check, that reaction. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can I just passively tell? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> nope. Three. Fourteen. Four. Four. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Shit. Yeah. He knows exactly what ship. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And where? Anything happen? No. Very well, We made it alive. Except well. at the end. Well, I think something more happened. I think that part of the reason why we were attacked was because he was in contact with Hoka. He did seem very interested in you. This is news. <clears throat> this whole you dropping random things into conversation that I, at least I am unaware of. Stronger together means a, communication. A how do you well. think I feel when you do this crap to me? You told us you didn't want to know things. I was trying to respect your wishes, darling. Well, look at that. When it comes to you, as I said, when it comes to you, I kind of want to know almost everything. Now you not do. everything. Almost now everything. Now you do. You did not. Okay. Almost everything. <laughs> Imagination. Lorazepam. <laughs> well, I need to... You're going to have conversation. I need to conclude some business. The shiny fucker. Yes, with the pointy-eared shiny fucker that you now call him. I am a pointy-eared shiny fucker. Thank you. <laughs> yes, you are the learned, but you're our pointy-eared pointy shiny eared. fucker. Yeah. He's a pointy-eared shiny-eared fucker. This is very yes. true. Do any of you have an orb on you by any chance? Orb. 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 Just an orb. Okay. No. I have that a common thing for people to have. I have a on. circular vial. Great. All right. I'll see you all back on the ship. And kind of gets up, takes your alchemy jug, opens his flask, and just goes, Thank you. Mm-hmm. What, what orb? I have no idea. Just a fucking orb. Did the uh, pointy-eared shiny fucker ask about it? Yeah, he's looking for one. Okay. I have no fucking idea. What's on the ship? Again, that's why I don't ask questions, because when I ask questions, this shit happens. Um, I'm going to real quick pull out the sending stone that I got for Bashara. And gave it to Bashara's. Oh, you, that you gave to Jarlin. 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 Yeah. Yeah, the one you gave to Jarlin to give to Bashara if you found her, yeah. Yes. I'm going to attempt to reach Vashara. Okay. I don't know if Drone's gone to her because he hasn't contacted me. So. Okay. So. Before or after Damien leaves? After. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to, like, go off for a second into the corner and, like, whatever. Um, Vashara, if this is you, where are you right now? What is the status of the Earl Orb? There are more people looking for where I am in the shark. What? (sighs) 
The message is not received, nor is there a reply. Talia? Yeah? What does it mean when a sending stone doesn't receive a message? Sending They're not on this fire. plane of existence. Or its twin got destroyed, but more than likely not on this plane of existence. There's a small chance that it won't go through. Something happened. intended for Bashara, yes. I'm going to try it one more time. Okay. Same message. Yeah. It is not received and there is no reply. Well, the sending stone that Droylin had to give to Bashara, mm -hmm. I was hoping that it was in her possession at this point, but neither message that I have sent has been received. So. Do you want to try contacting Jolin and seeing if he has any information on Bashar? Or whether that one is also not received and then that would tell you that at least the stones are in the same place? Right. The one with Jolin? Mm -hmm. Yes. Because if he receives his, he could confirm or deny that Bashar has the one that you gave her. We'll give him to give her. You know what I mean. Yeah. Words. Well, no, that was intentional. Yeah. <laughs> Mission accomplished or not. Right. Right. Okay. I'll pull out the sending stone that I have for Jordan. Okay. meant to be for Vishara did not send did not complete send <laughs> message I saw are really hard message, <laughs> not, message, message didn't not work there we go all, our, well, all the wires in our brains are just like misfiring tonight <laughs> yep Message not you're you're received. overthinking the simplest thing. Neither message received. Yes. Yes. The message was not received, and there is no response. Yes. Okay. Oh wait. Like. The message was not received yes. to Jorlin, and there is no response. Okay. okay. So. So. You're probably in the same location. What well, I say. One of three options. One, he has both stones still on him. He is not on this plane of existence, and it didn't go through. Two, both of the stones have been destroyed. That is the less likely of the three options. Number three, he gave the stone to Bashara, and they are in the same place. Or they're or both on didn't. different planes of existence. Well, that was the first option. He still has both, and he's not on this plane of existence. Yes. Okay. That's probably your best option. Most of most likely, Most option. likely option. It's a little terrifying that she wouldn't be on the same plane of existence, but... Well, it might not be her. Well, I'm saying it's not. Jorlin, Jorlin has both. The most likely option is that Jorlin still has both in his possession, and he is no longer on this plane of existence. The least likely option is that both stones have been destroyed. The it could be possible option is they each have their respective stones and are not on this plane of existence. Can she still come back to you again? She did once. And now that she can. And now that she knows, now. she's going to be constantly trying. If she can. Because, you know, if... She could be they're... running into the same problem that you are right now and not even know it. I would say, if they're... Anything like other people who call themselves family. 
you tend to experience very similar things. Correct. business with them is not reassuring. No. But we need to get somewhere. And yes. Let's go and bother Para and see what she has to say. It's her best option. Yeah. I mean, to an end for now. But more conversation to be had. Always more conversation to be had. But if it's anything like his other dealings? questionable dealings that we have come to be made known of. It's not made for questionable reasons. I understand that bad decisions made for good reasons are still bad decisions. However, yeah. Shall we make our way to the ship? Maybe, oh, you can play the game with Para. Certainly, yep. I'm sure he would. He would enjoy that. He must be bored. Where is he? <laughs> we keep forgetting to look after our goblin child. Yeah. Oh, you. Oh no. <laughs> Last. Would you like to go to the ship and play the game with Farm? I would like that, if you can find me. What? Do we hear him? Oh, you hear him. From where? Yeah, what direction does it seem to keep in mind that I'm the same height as you guys? Sounds like behind you. Behind me or behind everybody? Behind all of you. I'm going to turn around and start tickling there. Trying to find him. (laughs) You probably look like an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure I do. Detect object. I'm detecting his toy. <laughs> or locate object. That's a cheating monkey fairy. <laughs> I love it. Oh, I'm going to act it up, though. But oh, he doesn't t- know oh. what I'm doing. So I say, Auntie Tali's turning lo- around. Locate object. Detecting where his knife is. Actually, no. Where his hat is. Eh, mm. I like it. Yeah. His hat is about 20 feet behind you. And underneath a chair. Well, I'm going to just kind of do the the whole dad. Now, where could he possibly be? <laughs> just wandering over, you know, looking looking like nothing happens, and then just take the chair, reach right underneath, and just grab. <laughs> no, 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 that's not fair. You did not. You, you didn't, didn't specify. specify. <laughs> you just said. Now you know. Come on, you we've got to go. Find me. Let's go to the ship. Come on, we're gonna play on the ship. Okay, Come on. Okay, okay, can you let go of me? You've grabbed me in a weird, weird area. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh not I'm there, not. Jesus. I'm <laughs> sorry, child. I am sorry, child. <laughs> Tell her to reach a hand down and help him out. Well, I was locating his hat, so grabbing, I would have grabbed his ears. His or you got his throat. I grabbed his... Yeah. <laughs> and Hello! <laughs> You're not a bad uncle. Yeah, no, oh, thank oh, God. No. Oh, God. No, 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 no. no anyway, no, no. anyway. No, no, no. Have you met me? Mm-hmm. Terrible. Or my character, for that matter. Para? Let's go see Para. Yes, we're going to go see Para. I loved. So, we're going to make our way to the ship. <laughs> and head on a swivel As, the whole time we're going and, because she's a target. So we walk out the front door. Is the street like super duper crowded or is the path towards the ship relatively clear? Oh, uh, it's relatively clear. Walk Can I purpose. make a perception check to see if there's any of those fuckers yep. in robes? Me? Are you uh, leaving the tower or on your way? Uh, both. Yeah, I'd be looking, I'd be looking for... Well, to attack me. My reason for asking is looking at OU. Dirty 20. 18. I race yet. 17. Uh, you do notice uh, two human males wearing the golden plated armor standing on the second floor of this tower just kind of watching you guys as you leave. 
They're just people walking. Let's uh, let's try to stay together and move a little bit quickly towards the ship. Right. Race. Race. Ready? Do, they, do the two guys in the golden armor seem to be looking more intently at Core than any of us? Uh, they're more looking intently at you and Core. Like passive insight, I can tell. So it has. It has been they're not this hands. this one is they're not trying to hide it they are even even if you weren't rolling passive perception you would know it's like you know how like if you're sleeping you someone's it. staring at you you feel it feel it yeah. yeah that's the type of staring they're so doing right now so it has right been now. relayed by Hawkeye to them more than likely i don't know but more than likely it's been relayed but somehow has been to these two human males not half of and human yeah so that's Four total in golden armor that you've met come across, that, yeah. that you've come across. Yeah. Yeah. Three three humans and one half elf. There's a hole. I mean, it's a gold. Well, yes. Important to clarify, though. So obviously, Gnome is not paying any attention. He's more worried about distracting the baby from the fact that his uncle just tried to strangle him accidentally. <laughs> Our kids were too right there. Just accidentally strangle him. Yeah. Taking off. So, I'm assuming our speeds are both shit. Oh no, he has dash. <laughs> so, well, yes. Right. Action, everybody has but action But in terms dash. of... He has action bonus action. Oh, you're right, you're right. So he's double dashing. Oh yeah. Cool. cool. He's I can't believe I'm losing to a goblin. I can't believe I'm losing to a rug. Exactly. <laughs> yes. Uh, making your way back, uh, perception checks on your way back as Auntie Tali and OU are racing back to the Eternal Dawn. Dirty 20. 26. 26. <laughs> we are very perceptive. <laughs> 16. When the dice want you on your side, they're on your side. All right. Probabilities. Um, It's not crowded because it is starting to get late, so people are either trying to find rooms, go back to their own homes, close up shops. But as you're walking back, you do see a few occasional glances None of them of anyone wearing golden armor, but just goblin oh, and a, a gnome whizzing by, racing, and then you guys just... Keep playing anything. Yeah. Just, okay. Huh. And continue on their way. So nothing malicious. Got it. No malicious intent. Cool. So how you would look at somebody on in a history. new kind of costume that you walked by in San Francisco. Huh. Okay. Continue about your business. Yep. <laughs> I was about to say, our, I was going to use our honeymoon reference, but that is not safe for YouTube. No, it's not. No. <laughs> You'll have to explain that one to them. Oh, yes. Yeah, I know that story. Yes. Right. Yes. I was going to say, we have heard I this know. story. Yeah, they've heard this story. So, uh, last day of mm -hmm. Christmas. Yeah, mm -hmm. last day of bread. Yep. Yes. Anyway, uh, you make your way back. Um, oh, you beat you. Of course she does. Yeah. Handily? Pretty soundly. Not handily, I think, you, because your movement is 25, 25. his is 30, so Dash, he, he beat you by about 5 feet. Good job, buddy. You're a little faster than me. As she's, like, panting. Oh, yeah. Those <laughs> are hearts ready to explode. Don't do this. Long. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's go find Para. Yes. Para! <laughs> Buddy. Oh, sorry. Uh-huh. Walks up. Our Para! You couldn't have done that while you were back here, dude. Follow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of, I'm kind of following behind him. Oh, yeah. I do. Mm -hmm. uh, you do see Para walk up from below the deck. Oh, you. Hi. Hi, darling. Hello. Hi. He, he wanted to play the game. Clearly, because we've all met up again. Yeah. Is this a good thing or a bad thing? Good Hopefully to see a good you. good thing. Yes. Good to see you. Yes, yes. let's start with that. Yes. Great to see you all. We hired Damien. For what? Transport. Okay. The opposite of a fetch and carry. Yep. Okay. And he actually asked questions. He's learning. Uh, 
Are mm. things going better with the two of you at all? Oh, they're fine. You didn't breach that subject that we talked about, did you? No. No. Okay. You can give me those eyes all you want. I will. No. We did have talks, but not of what we talked about. None of what we talked about? Okay, some of what we talked about. Jesus Christ, stop with the eyes. <laughs> it's annoying. Love you. Uh, love you too. <laughs> so transport. Yes. I'm assuming he was not as happy because, well, I love all of you, but trouble just likes to follow you guys. Or you, fi- you find the trouble. That's the words you use, right? You find the trouble. Well, it involves us jumping that. from the ship. So. Nope. And that is where I'm done asking questions. Uh, are you hungry? Because yes. I have a lot of Very leftover famished. foods. I ha- Oh, excellent. Um, yes. And you also left some supplies with me in my... And she p- puts on her glove and reaches in. Yes. Yeah, so... Right. We'll make sure to get that from you before we... Uh, well, if you have it, we can just transfer now. Let's transfer right now. So she transfers you what had been left. Was six was eggs. Six eggs, loaf of bread. Uh, was two it the... Fish. Two fish. Because that had to be on ice. No, yeah. Big fish. Big fish. And then we like there was left another her with salt. Guy. We left her with salt and sugar as well. Yeah, the salt and the sugar. So, um, well, um, find some bunks, get comfortable, and I have a lot of leftovers. So, do you I, have veggies and salad? I do, of course. I didn't stop doing that just because she left. <laughs> One of these days, those fuckers will eat them. I mean, you yelled at them. That was uh, impressive. They all ate my salad. That was beautiful. <laughs> Should I do it again? No. no. I think your mere presence will make them start eating it again. <laughs> Lovely. Lovely. I'm, I'm glad to see you all. Again. We're glad to be here. Our last means of transport was decidedly less friendly. I'm sorry to hear that the first time I felt comfortable in a long time, actually. It was good to see the Eternal Dawn. Well, it was very good to see it. Get all, get, find your bunks, get settled in, and I'll have some plates ready. Um, I do have a, basically a vegetable hash I made that no one ate, so I'll make sure that's still warm for you. You did. <laughs> oh, <laughs> They may not eat it, but I'm still going to make it. Well, I will eat it. Yeah. Well, I'm glad I did make it then, because it's going to be... Someone's going to eat it. Very hungry. Yeah. We did not eat lunch today. Well, the I best have... thing that they had on that last ship was essentially perma-leftover stew. Slop. Grits. It was, it was delicious. Slop. But it was ugly it, as it sin. Tasted it's, it's, it tasted better than it looked. Oh, yeah. So the age-old rule of you eat with you your eat. eyes first. It did not apply here. I went with my nose. It definitely reminded me of the army. Oh, I've missed you all. <laughs> Go get set up. You. Go get set up. I'll, I'll make sure I'll have you all plates. Uh, are you drinking tonight? I do have tea. Always. I remember. Uh, tea seems to help settle my stomach, but so that would always be good. But after being on... An actual seafaring ship. I have high hopes for uh, for this travel. Glad you do. I don't. <laughs> don't pressure luck. Tea for you. <laughs> I'll spike it. How's that? Fantastic. Yes. That sounds even better. There you go. All right. My Twist my arm, why don't you? Two things, very quickly, before we settle. I'm assuming Simon is downstairs with his nose and book. Oh, of course. Okay. I'll be paying him a visit in a minute. And number two, after... He has been asking about you. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, then I'll go say that. So. Sorry. Bless you. Bless you, dear. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. I still think there's some flour left over in my sinuses. (laughs) Well, that's my (laughs) bad. Keep that COVID over there. (laughs) (laughs) Rona! Right. Um. But then, after all is said and done, I would like to come check out your tea selection. 
um, of course. see what what I might be able to glean from them because I learned a couple few days ago that I can use tea to do alchemy and that made me very happy. Good lord, you've been gone for like four days. I know. I'm a fast learner. Has it been four or six? Good lord. Lord, I don't know. It's a new month. Oh, you've been gone for six. Good lord. Well then. All right. I'll get you all plates. Get sold in. Do you have anything that Odin can play the game with? <laughs> I actually do. I did get a uh, new pan. That does not need fire. It is constantly hot. I'm sorry, what? That's amazing. It is. I don't need flame. It just it is constantly hot at a cooking temperature. The handle will never be hot. So he can grab it and not be hot harmed by it. But what happens if he like? puts it in a bag? Because I'll have to describe it. It, um, it looks like a cast iron skillet, but the handle is black and the pot itself is red. It emanates its own magical heat. Mm. I'm gonna check that out too. That's really pretty. So just just make sure don't touch the red pots. Does OU because otherwise we're going to be hearing goblin screams and those are terrifying. Does, does, <laughs> OU, does OU know his colors? Or I don't know. OU? OU, do you know the difference between black and red? Uh, red is blood, black is um, black is um, night. I plop a thing of dirt in front of him. That! <laughs> <laughs> so red is me. That runs the door. And black is that. The end of. I said, "What's it? Coarse hair." Oh, uh, yeah. I'll. Yeah. Oh yeah, a little. My black. black. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Put it in now. Okay. Bye. No. <laughs> runs downstairs. Oof. Do you know what you're looking for? Something black and red. Yep. It's a pan. Don't touch the red part. Oh, <laughs> Hyper little <laughs> devil. <laughs> You're telling us. You have to travel with it. How much trouble has he gotten you in? Nope. That's well, for di- that's for dinner. Get settled in. He he calls them moms, and he started calling me Unky Very. And Auntie and Tolly. And Auntie Tolly. And he said that he loved us as family. Oh, God, such a adorable. I know. More on that. We'll go put our stuff. I'm going to go grab a drink and get you all your food. So get settled. That's where we're going to take our break. Good call. <laughs> and we're back. Hiya. All right. Hiya. Everyone's done their bathroom break and all that fun stuff. Yeah. Ian and I have smoked our cancer sticks, so. Breathing, right. hey, breathing yeah. treatments. Breathing treatments, I, yeah. yes. If we don't get our breathing treatments, then we be... Yes. Moving so, on. moving on. Picking up. Yeah. You are back on the Eternal Dawn. Par mm-hmm. Par is getting some plates ready for you for dinner. Oh, you is playing the game. Leftover playing the dinner. Game. Yes. One of the best. Yes. So um, are you still searching so cool. Paras? Or is he back? Oh, he's back. Was he successful? Oh yeah. He's got it. <laughs> is Para still there? Or is she back downstairs? She's back downstairs. Okay. It's not burning a hole in his pocket. Is he doesn't have it in his pocket. He literally oh, is like holding it up, like it. Can, good job, Daniel. Can I tell you see that for a second? Yeah, just be careful, cause ow. Oh, don't touch it. Hat. Yeah, don't touch it. Well, very carefully, bottom part of the. Okay, you got it. Daniel. Okay. Hey, oh you. That's. You didn't happen to take anything while we were in the hotel, did you? While you were hiding. No. Inside check. <laughs> it was a nice hotel. It was. Ah. Well, that's good. I still say you get advantage. Seventeen. Seventeen. Did not take anything. Yeah. Time is a nine, so. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just oh, love God, them. what die so, do I have for? Oh, yes. Uh, by the way, uh, Ian, you have inspiration. Because he remembered Featherfall tokens for your guys of playing with ah, Damien. Yeah, nice. What die is that? It's a D20. It's a, so basically, D20. Advantage, isn't it? Advantage, yeah, advantage on anything on you want. Oh, an advantage. On, excellent. 
So basically, if you roll like shit, you can so. say, I'm going to use my inspiration. Yeah. And Actually, you get to roll again. That's the first one I've had I it, like so. that inspiration way better than it's intent. Yeah. Like one point. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's DM inspiration like, is like a bardic advantage. Inspiration. Yeah, it's not bardic inspiration. Yeah. It's god inspiration of I'll give you advantage on something. Right. Right. I want to know about the path. <laughs> of course you did. Cast it, on it. I mean, I was going to arcana check it first. Yeah, arcana check it. See what I can figure out. Could you imagine that weaponized? Are we eating? Yes. Okay. Par brought us our food? Yes. Yes. Aside from the hash, what else left over? Uh, there is uh, pork shoulder. Um, also, you have a shredded brisket that is in a bone broth gravy. Yum. Oh, God. Served with um, bread. bread and yes. also roasted potatoes. Yum. That is going over good, the potatoes. Thing, yeah, you don't. Yeah. You don't want a chef as a DM, because I. Yes, I, I do. Yes. <laughs> yes, I do. Now you need to cook that for us. I'm just glad we already. Oh ate fuck before you. you! Started describing. At this. least one of the things that you have described during this campaign needs to happen in November, please and thank you. Yes. Okay. Okay. Eighteen. Okay. Love you. Eighteen. Eighteen. Tried brisket with the bone broth gravy is probably going to be better. Oh. Oh Sorry, I got overexcited with co- cooking. Um, 18. Uh, this is magically enchanted. Okay. It. It is evocation. Okay. That, like, I know you're not casting Identify. This is an Arcana check, but with your Arcana check. This looks like it's been imbued by a dragon marked house to okay. contain. to do what it's supposed to do. Okay. So it's not like an existing item. This was a like special request. This was a special uh, Okay. Yeah. Special order. That's a commission. Word. That's the word. There it is. Commission so, people to do fan art of our characters, please. Yes. I, I may have at least one person. Awesome. What's the what's the saying? Gnome size, size hands. hands or sized hands. Yes. This yes. is happening right now. I mean, it's not an orc-sized pan. It's a par-sized pan, part of a half-elf, so... It's a little big on you. A little big. It's Everything's a little big on me. Yes. Anyway, that's the pan. Okay. Would This wouldn't be, like, hot enough to boil things in? Or just to, like, cook, like, meat and shit in? It could do what you need it to do. Okay. Noted. And I wouldn't necessarily know what Dragon Mark House. No. Being who I am. Yeah, being who you are. Cool. Yeah, my little sheltered Zill gnome wife. <laughs> oh, Zillargo. Got the dinosaurs, though. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Oh, you. Darling, would you like to, t- to take this back to Para, or would you like me to do it? Do you run out the rut? I can. I run the route. You go eat. Yes. Okay. So, I'll take the pan back to Para. Okay. Um, she is starting to clean up now. Sure. This is a nifty little toy you have here. I had it commissioned. Clearly. Where would one commission something like that? I'm uh, intrigued. The Dragon Mocked House. A house. A house. House, house, what house? Yes, a house. Okay. A house on top of the hill. Assuming it's, and I've handed it back to her at yeah. this point, because it's heavy and hot, and I'm small. <laughs> Assuming that set you back a pretty penny. Uh, or a favor. Pretty penny and a favor. Both. Okay. Well, if you ever come across the opportunity for something such as that again, let me know. Of course. Because that's really fucking cool. Just like the glove. Yeah. Oh, oh, and she'll pull hers out. I was very proud of myself that I would make that. It looks like an oven mitt on you. Yeah, well, it's Valerian's glove. Say no more. 
But I figured if it's big on me, that means that I'm not the only one who can use it. Well, that's thinking outside the box. So, yeah. It's been useful so far. Well, good. So, are you busy now? Or cleaning up and whatnot and when you come back and see you later, or? I don't know. You talk as I clean. Well, I wanted to look at your teeth. Oh, right. I didn't really want to do that an hour later, because, you know. Hands and the washing and all that. Of, of course, and all that fun stuff, yes. Um, no, no, by all means. Let me pull that up because it is a tab. <laughs> you really should just always have that open. I really should. You really just should like just like how I should always have OU open. open. Yeah. You should just transfer it into that database that I uh, sent you. I know, I know. And that's I one know. tab. All right, she has a uh, white poppy tea, a uh, mandrake root tea. White poppy tea, wouldn't that be like morphine? Might be. <laughs> you don't know. Opium. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Uh, Twilight wormwood. Mm. And uh, where's the other one? She does have lunar nectar. Okay. Which one did she make for uh, Sir Valerian for his stomach? White Poppy. White Poppy. White so, Poppy. How am I feeling after that then? Good constitution check. Hi. <sighs> I don't believe I have a very high constitution. Um, one moment. Let me open the app. What'd you roll? I got pulled up. I uh, rolled an eight. Uh, that you have a plus one. You're con. So nine. You're nine. nine. Feel very warm. It is a light tea, almost light. white. Um. Almost like chai. Y yeah, almost like chai. Um, you do feel no, no. Chai is chai brown. Black. Chai oh. is brown or black. Depending. Well, chai is black tea. Yeah. Wow. So this is Just very. Oh, I know. Yeah. Okay. Um. White tea is made using a baby. Yeah. It's very, very light. Very, very light. Um, you do feel warm in the inside and almost relaxed. Like calm. I like this teapot. Um, could I could I purchase some of this from you? Of, of course. I, how much do you want? Uh, just probably just a standard brick. Just a standard one of the one of the no. the bricks that you break off. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's like it cost me three silver, so. Looks like you to break break even with you, or. I uh, yeah, break even. I'll break even with you. Break three even. silver then. I'm rolling investigation checks to figure out what the essences are of the teas that I don't already know. Okay, uh, what teas do you not know? Uh, all of them except for lunar nectar. I know lunar nectar's uh, nectar. White poppy is wind positive. Okay. Uh, mandrake root is wind. Twilight wormwood. Uh, negative. Single negative. Single negative. So I'm proficient enough that I don't have to roll anymore. You read that book a lot. And does this <laughs> exist, or do I need to make it? To put it in as a uh, It's custom. Gotcha. Yeah, it's custom. Uh, I'm on it. Thank so, you. brick of white poppy. I'm on it. Thank you. Yeah, no, you've read that book enough, and you've, with how you're, like, if you're going to forage, that's a different story. Sure. But yeah, you, you've been collecting enough essences where it's like, okay, I can... Oh, really? You're going to do that? It's, it's her notebook. I know, I know. You hadn't seen the cover? Oh, no, he's seen the cover. I, I just didn't think she was going to pull it out. Seen the whole oh, it's it's not just an out-of-game prop now. It's an in-game prop because it has my essences and stuff in the back of it. Yeah, she's gotten real crafty. <laughs> she, goddamn. Anyway, yeah, there you go. Cora's just like shuffling through the tea, smiling. <laughs> so much tea! So many tea. 
So, now I do have to ask. Yes, dear. What did you hire us for? How much detail do you want? Dad? I want all of it. All of it? All of it? Are you sure? It involves, I'll give you, I'll give you this. And feel free to slap me with something if you feel like I'm oversharing. It involves a uh, certain tieflings patron. Mm -hmm. And we are being sent by her, essentially, on a fetch and carry. And by we, I mean she. And we are assisting. Okay. So. And you don't know what the fetch is, but it's... That would be where the oversharing comes in. Yeah. Okay. So. Keep... <laughs> ah, very funny. Oh no, she's serious. <sighs> That's where we're going, though. Remember how I mentioned it was the opposite of a fetch and carry? Mm-hmm. So go and drop. Great. Yeah. Inconspicuously. Oh. Yeah, a tiefling, a Kalashar, a gnome, and a paladin drop out of the sky. Oh, 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 oh. Sounds like the beginning of an awful joke. Excuse me. I'm sorry, and buddy. Goblin. So, goblin. I'm going to pull the key out of my pocket again. Slide it across to Farah. Huh. Nothing. Am I, am I supposed to do something? No, it just involves that. Oh, okay. That unlocks something. In a military outpost In that was meant to, uh, defo the, to defend the hilt. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Any of you think that's terrifying as shit? Oh god, yes. Oh, okay, so good. I just. Well, I mean. If you're you just knew. like so gung ho about it, I was a little no, worried that you didn't give I a think, shit. Do you no, know if you knew what my patron was. I say, do you want to share No, with I think, I think, I think we're good. Yeah. I, I think we've hit that threshold of I was ready for everything, and now we've hit the oversharing mark of I think. You've realized. You've hit the overwhelm button. I, yes. I, I hit my limit. Yes. That's fair. I have missed you all. I'm not. Reach my limit now. That's Don't want to know. <laughs> that is entirely fair. Entirely Quick thing, fair. out of game. Did you two get the uh, text whispers? Yes. Well. Yes. Yes. Okay. <coughs> Perfect. Stellar. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm assuming, yeah. I'm assuming this is meant for me tomorrow. No. That's meant for <sighs> you. Oh, for Oriana. Mm -hmm. Okay. And also Vashar, but you're not Vashar right now, you're Oriana. <laughs> Reminder number one! <laughs> I don't kill anyone! <laughs> so don't yes. ask! <laughs> okay. So yeah, that's the, uh... Great. The long and short of that. Mm-hmm. On a less soul-rendingly terrifying note... Go on. How much of your other teas, other than Lunar Nectar, because Kor has set me up very nicely with that for now. Well, that's good. Would you be willing to part with? And well, I just sold sort of laying here a brick of the... Sure. But I don't want him to have that for his stomach because I'm getting tired of dodging. <sighs> it's cute you think he won't stop throwing up. It may happen one day, though. Let's be optimistic. At least it'll make me not care. It might be distracting enough for him. Let's see. I can part with a brick of... The only thing I will part with is a brick of the Twilight Wormwood. Okay. Five, five silver. Okay. Let's just call it even. Okay. So a couple, like... So I can take a couple of that. Like, five servings of the Mandrake Root for another silver? Or something like that? Sure. So Session 27. 27. Okay. I was going to say, I don't think I think we're farther. Oh, yeah. We're getting near episode 30 already, we're, guys. We're Jesus. Right now. Yeah. Start as one shot. It was never a one shot. It's that <laughs> astronaut meme. It's I'm a one shot. Now, Mom. Never, it was never a one it shot. It was never a one shot. Aren't anyway. you proud of me now? Yep. There you go. All right. So. Brick is how many? It is five. Sorry, ten. Because it's a brick. 
it's ten servings. So you would have basically ten. Ten twilight wormwood. Which is ten negatives, negatives yeah. single negatives. Okay. And then five of the uh, mandrake, which is wind. Which, to those of you at home, a brick of tea is about the size of a deck of cards, and you shave it off with a knife or implement. That, that is why the Boston Tea Party was actually a big fucking deal. <laughs> it was crates of tea that is compressed into sheets. Of bricks. Of bricks that are broken off. History, baby. This starts with a history lesson of the day. Back to fantasy. Surprise your teachers with that. Okay. Well, thank you very much, dear. You're welcome. Make some interesting things with those. Well, what's she going to make? Stuff. A mess. Okay. I'll show you later. Are you going to be using my fire? Maybe. Depending on how long we're doing all of everything. Okay. You're afraid to use it. You don't have any extra brazers lying around, do you? No. Okay. What next? If you don't ask, the answer's always no. My mother always says. Spot woman. Well, I'm going to bed. These Hellions have tired me out for the day. Of course. Good night, you five. Good night, Jay. Good night, Pop. She walks to her bunk and kind of just like... Her high hole. Yeah, her high hole and just does the... I'm not even going to change. And just... <laughs> Is her minor illusion not up and we can see that? Yeah. Looks like she's had a long day. Well, you've met the crew here. Valid. <laughs> and they also work for me. You hear as I was just getting da- ready to Damien, say, and... Damien c- walks down the stairs. Oh, speak of the devil and he shall appear. No, oh, my ears were ringing. I thought something was going on. Smart man. What trouble are we getting into? Presently, I was Hopefully buying not. tea off your cook. Okay. What trouble are we getting into? You already know. Well, uh... Let's just say my business transaction has went through, but I had an eye on you. I mean, unless you would like to have a conversation this evening, I wasn't intending on getting into any trouble. Uh, Unless the conversation is the exact plan of what we're going to be doing tomorrow. I assume because it's you five. The sooner we leave, the better and get started. Of course. Can I tell if his demeanor toward me has changed at all? Uh, make an insight check. Sixteen. Sixteen. It has not changed. But... It looked like he was told something... It has not changed, but it looks like it, it, there's a new level of... Okay. Crap. He has new information or a new filter that he is currently putting her through. Yes. Mm. Not trapped. Um, if y'all don't mind, let's go to my quarters. Sure. Where my map is, and we'll discuss tomorrow's plans. Okay. Certainly. All right. You got the fire whiskey? Always, darling. Excellent. I may need to refill, but let's go. Um, Walking into his captain's quarters, you do see the map is still spun out on his desk. All right. General perception check to look at what's going on in the office. See if I have anything new or anything wildly out of place. Yeah. I'm probably not the person to be doing this, but I'm doing it anyway. I'm going to do the same thing. Are you sure it's orifice? Well, it's actually not bad. Fifteen. 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 <laughs> nothing new. Nothing out of place. Um, you've all been in his captain's quarters before, so sure. nothing's changed. Okay. There's a lot more dots on his map, but in terms of his... The captain's scores. That's that's the only thing that you've seen change. 
Okay. And these were just like regular pen dots of places. Yes. Going. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you need to go to Flint Keep. Apparently there. If you want to do this discreetly, you have Featherfall tokens. Let's see, I could theoretically. Could do 30 miles outside of Flint Keep with Featherfall tokens. It's not a lot of forest there, so. Not a lot of cover. Not a lot of cover. It's either we could do a direct drop, wish for the best, or. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Having a thought that I'm going to put to the more military in our persuasion. What would it take? to make make Damien's ship look less conspicuous to be near Flint Keep. Good lord. Well, you'd either have to make it look like one of the uh, one of their own uh, military trade ships or make it look like it's a battleship of its own. So, I'm assuming those are all large changes, not small ones. Mm, yeah, there's nothing small about that. Yeah. We are armed, however. He does have cannon. True. He only has four, though. But... If we... I'm wondering... Because they do use small ships, or they would use small ships as scouts. If we can make it look more like a scouting ship, or rather than a trade ship, honestly what we would have to do would probably be just having the guns more visible, maybe make it look like there's more cannon than just the four that we have, and we'd be have to flying, we'd have to be flying the military colors. And the other problem is, is if we're hailed, because I know during the military they used what's called semaphore, which is which either uh, uh, it's a pattern of flags, and depending on the pattern of flags depends on what the question is and the answer, and they're usually encoded. So it is an extremely high risk, and we probably would wind up being fired upon. Regardless, yeah, our best not. bet would be to fly higher than what we would be visible at. Okay. To be well, that would be the best and conspicuous yes. to to go. That's what I was thinking was that if someone could assist in helping make us invisible of some sort, I can only affect visibility on five foot spaces at a time. Can I have more than one instance of minor illusion up at a time? Uh, no. Okay, didn't oh. say concentration, so. Uh, and you can do more than one instance of precipitation and they're similar. Captain, so. what is what is our maximum altitude that we can uh, uh, 2000, achieve? 2,000 feet. What's the average, uh, do, you, do you know what the average altitude of a warship would be? Maybe three. Thousand? Three thousand. Once you get once you get past that, it's a little hard to breathe. Fair. We do have the bubble hats, but the rest so of the, the crew does the crew not. Doesn't, yeah. Yeah, unfortunately. Uh, well, what? Damien, you were a soldier, so what would you do in this circumstance? What do you think? If we flew at the maximum altitude that we possibly could, do you think that we could? And we flew with purpose, not directly at the fort, but as if passing, but at the highest altitude that we could go. Do you think that we would draw any attention that would draw hostility? Wait here. Kind of walks out of the quarters. About two or three minutes go by and he walks back in with Simon. 
A ghost pet? You said you can use invisibility on how many? One at a time. One. You leave your little goblin friend here. You do invisibility, Simon gives the other three invisibility, you get an hour. We go maximum altitude, we drop you right above. That's, that was my idea. That sounds like the most feasible option. Oh, you? Hold up. Would you be okay with staying here? Pa can take care of them, for sure. She's already said she doesn't babysit, darling. But you've seen how she is around Oh, I know. It just may take some convincing. She'll look at Damien. I'll I'll watch him. Okay. Or I'll try to convince Para. Is that okay with you, Bowie? Well, you're coming back, right? Yes, Yes. absolutely. Thunder. This would also be the safest for you. This will be safe for us because we could get in safely. And it'll be safe for you because we don't know what danger this could be. And we don't want you hurt. Remember how we had you stay with Uma and Vaughn? Yeah. Okay. Would... And we came we, back from that. Would we be able to maybe borrow your toy? My toy. What if it helped us? My toy. You wouldn't want to share with me, moms? It might help your mom. Yeah, but something bad could happen, and then I don't have my trust. Nothing bad's gonna happen to you. He does need something to protect himself. I'm gonna pull out my dagger. What about Uncle Barry's dagger? Make a persuasion check at disadvantage. That is his toy. It is his toy. I really, uh, I'm... I rolled an 18 and a 19. So, I'm, uh, my persuasion. One merit. Should be a plus two. Any second. Should be a plus yep, two. Yep, plus two. Yeah. So, at disadvantage, is a dirty 20. Dirty 20. Kind of takes out his dagger. Hands up at back. You Absolutely, get it back. dear. I promise. And Mommy. just to make sure, and I put a gold on top of the the regular my, dagger. my regular dagger as I'm handing it to over to him. That's my promise. Okay. 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 It stays with Mommy Core, I'm assuming. Yes, I, I take it and As I, I just pass it over. Destructive in the past. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll take it and sheath it and then just pull the sh- I'll pull a sheath and all off my belt and then hand it to oh, you, okay. Cor. So it's it's sheathed and, and ready okay. to go. So you uh, Simon, this. is this an acceptable idea? I don't think I can say no on this because you're all in agreement, but yep. Uh, rendezvous? Yeah. Rendezvous, we have not decided yet. Okay, Damien, you said you were going to look at a map and help us out with that. <sighs> There's literally... <laughs> it's the worst area. 104 miles east of the Flint Keep is Yakundra. God bless you. That's a long way to go. It's a lot of miles. How long would that take us? On foot? A few yeah. days. Hell of a lot longer than an hour. And it's also an abandoned coast city where apparently a dimensional seal is. That's Fantastic. not a good idea. Blanched gnome. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the stories, but they're not just stories. Uh, oh, no one's no that. one's stupid enough to go near it. So yeah, we don't so want to test that either. Where else? What about the thirty-foot point that you were talking? It's right on the edge of the hilt. That's a day's travel on foot. We 
We could do it if Just, we push it. Do you know anyone who has any type of teleportation magic? Let's see if Simon wants to go with us. He doesn't have enough invisibility. Valid. He can't invisible himself. I'm just thinking out loud here. Simon, do you still have the uh, chart that you had acquired? That, no, I sold that. Oh, shit. What type of shard? He apparently came across the refined Eberron shard. Ed Eberron dragon shard. Okay. Wonderful. Put this way. Thirty miles to the east of Flint Keep, you're on the edge of the hilt. That leads into the Thunder Sea. It's thirty miles from the keep. We can Hold on. You're talking about the refined ever on Dragon Shard. I am. The one I reach into my pocket and I pull out the two empty ones I have. The ones that you cast into, correct? Yes, the ones that can hold the spells. Two empty ones. Spell. Where on the ship do you want to be? I Where can make a sigil. Ship? I can make a teleportation sigil. I have I have the supplies, I have the magical out. Wait. Let's make it Damien's cabin. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You can create a teleportation sigil on Damien's ship. Here. I can, if he allows it. We won't need to use one of your shards. Well, would you need to cast? You'd have to cast it, and if you're using a it's known a location, there's no chance of failure here. She'll put her hand up on the flintship longsword. This can take us to a known teleportation sigil, if we're all touching, and I'm familiar with it. So then we have a shard, so to speak, already. We just need to pick a location. Is that, are you sure? Mm. Yes. Yes. Read the spell. Plane shift. Yes. And I can use the sword to cast plane shift once per long rest. It'd yes, be, but that takes us to plane. another plane. No, no. It's a port key. Read the whole spell. That's why I The look. first sentence, you and up to eight willing creatures who link hands in a circle are transported to a different plane of existence. Keep going. <laughs> Read out loud for the people at home. Alternately, if you know the sigil sequence of a teleportation circle on another plane of existence. I thought I said any plane of existence. Another plane fine. of existence. Fine, will, fine, fine, so fine, 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 fine. We will just need one shot. Uh, Captain, uh, would you. I was about to say, when you said it, I'm like, I I know plane shift. This sounds so wrong. It was just Mr. Ed. <laughs> It's because uh, that's the same letter. <laughs> you tried. It's only one letter, one word wrong. You and tried. The entire damn spell, Captain, Marisha. Would you mind? Do, uh, <laughs> would you mind if you put the uh, the location that we return in your uh, chorus, or would that be too? Or should he just put it out on the deck? Let's say the deck. Or the armory. Somewhere where if. We are in need of assistance quickly. Someone would be able to find us. Which is why I said the armor deck. deck. <laughs> okay, you're all in disagreement here. Deck or, deck or armory? Everybody's always on the deck anyway. I was thinking we quick access yeah. to the cannons. Well, if you're going to have a teleportation circle on my ship, that means I can not be around here. Yes, exactly. So... I think the deck would be Main fine. deck would okay. be fine. Question. Simon, is there a range on teleportation? Uh, because you are using it... You are you, you want to use it through an Eberron Dragon Shard, correct? That's our only option. Uh, yeah, I just have to make sure. <laughs> Say, it's too high a level for me to learn, so yeah. And what was your question? Is there a range? Are we 
would just be There's on. no range. No range? There's no range. Excellent. Perfect. No range because you're making him make a permanent circle, so there's no chance of mishap. So, Simon, I'm going to hand him one of the dragon shards. You can cast teleport into this and make a sigil on the deck. It'd be very helpful. Damien, is this what we're doing? Sorry, paid the coin, Simon. Do it. And this saves our, our asses as well. Keeps us safe. Simon takes out a little bit of chalk and some gold. Alright, um, any specific location? The most unobtrusive, I would assume, because you don't want to be in, like... We don't want to appear in a box. Or appear and we're flying and be shoved into the wall of the captain's quarters. Yep, yeah. got it. All right. Do you need any help, Simon? No, I'm good. You, okay. you keep discussing How much this. Coin is that costing you? Talia, you should still want about twenty five. Twenty five gold pieces. Should we offer? I couldn't hear what he said. Twenty five gold pieces. pieces. Simon's doing that out of the goodness of his heart, and I don't think that he has to. No. So, I would like to uh, chip in ten gold. Okay. Same. Okay. I don't have any gold. I just have platinum and silver. <laughs> platinum converts. It'll still, yeah. I was gonna say, no, it'll still, still convert. converts. Yeah. But it's okay. Well, I'll get started on the teleportation permanent circle, and... How long is the casting time for the actual shot? Yeah, that's the one I forgot. Sorry. It's a long one. Yeah. I figured if it's a no-range spell... <laughs> Range equals... Nope, yes. it's, uh, because it's going through an uh, Eberron Dragon Shard, it is instantaneous, and you do not have to roll a percentile dice. Yep. Because... Oh, it take him, him to cast, cast it? it. Oh, him to make... No, it's... He, he's not casting it. He's casting it into the Eberron Dragon right, Shard. Right, right, that's it's what It's instantaneous. Asking. Okay. It's so creating the circle that's going to take him some time. Okay, okay, gotcha. It's yes. the permanent circle he is creating for you guys to teleport to. to. Yes. That is going to take him some time. But the spell is instantaneous. Oh. So he literally takes the shard, takes his two hands, covers it, and you see a little light glow. There you go. I'm going to start on the circle. Thank you. You're, you're welcome. That was... Yeah. Yeah. He walks out. Okay. Now we have a plan. We have the form of action. Little Goblin stays with us, and you're going to literally dive bomb Flint keeping with invisibility. Apparently, mm -hmm. yes. That's what we're doing. Okay. We can certainly try. I would say you only live once, but <laughs> I've proven that wrong. <laughs> Sidelong look. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sure most people only live once, unless you've discovered a oh, secret of immortality. That's a different story. Is this a don't ask? Unless yeah, I really want to go yeah, into a new. Yeah, yeah. Okay, it's a, it's a very long story. It involves more gods. Watch your side. Watch your side comments, then, my dear friend. Because now I'm curious, but yeah, no, it's no. A very focus, long focus. Flint story. keep. Tell you what, Damien, that'll be a. A very, very, very drunken night as well. How about so? How that? about when we all come out of this alive? We all come out of this fresh alchemy jug. We swap stories. We tell other sides of stories. We share. You're not going to gods. give that up. Oh mm. hell no! By the gods. 
Well, I'm going to get the ship ready. Okay. You all get rest because we're doing this in the first thing in the morning when we have the best advantage. Yes. Yes. Go get some sleep. What time is it right now? Uh, it is eight o'clock. Should we? Uh, under under his breath to um, to core. Should we tell him to post God to make sure that no one that has been following you and giving you trouble tries to get on board while we're resting? Because we're still in dark. Unfortunately, unfortunately, Valerian, I'm afraid that some of the people he's working with are in cahoots with the people that are following me. So we just need to stay close and make sure to set up alarm. Yeah. Understood. How big's the deck? That's what she said. We, you've yeah. asked this. We, we, you know the answer to that question. Somewhere yeah. It, we, well, no, you, I know how big the armory is. No, it, it's, the it's it's the same okay. di- the same dimensions between the okay. uh, mess hall and r- the rooms, armory, okay. deck, and captain's quarters. It's the same dimensions. Absolutely. So would there be a way looking dimensionally trying to remember what the actual thing looked like that was in Discord, wasn't it? Yes, it was in Discord a long time ago. When 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 we actually did not do in person sessions. Yes. You know, for nineteen Sad episodes. Days. Sad days. I mean they were still wonderful, but it's much better being it really yes. is. If you send me the image, I will make it happen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just PM right. me it, and it will show up on the uh, the screen for everyone at home. Hello. There we go. There you go. You found it. I'm just going to make my way down to the barracks. Okay. My bunk. What time is that? Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. Eight fifteen. And we have to be up by dawn. I'm assuming. Yeah. Yeah. He wants. If you're. If you're doing this, and you want the best chance of success, it's go to bed now. First light. Go to bed now, and we're going to take off. We're going to try to beat the shift change. Sure. I say we uh, turn in. I said we take the advice. So, does not specify where the, like, gangplank would be. In reference to, like, the stairs that go down to the quarters. Uh, yeah, because that one's down. Uh, I'm assuming you understand what I'm attempting to figure out. Yes, I understand what you're attempting to figure out. You just have to be a goddamn fucking engineer. Hello! Have you met me? Yeah, I have met you. And you're playing an artificer. And you're an engineer. The engineer's playing a magic engineer. You are welcome. <laughs> Alright. Deck. Mm-hmm. Left side. So if you're looking at the picture, it's the left ones. But go down into the main deck. Okay. So, nine is the front, and then those stairs go down. Yes. There we go. Okay. So, and where do you come onto the ship? Like, main entry onto the ship. The gangway. That, yeah. The gangway is not a gangplank. It is a rope that lifts you up. Unless you're on a dock. The gangplanks well, we is on only dock. sky docks. Sky docks that have gangplanks. These are airships. Mm-hmm. In Eberron, mm-hmm. airships are still considered new. So Sharn has built sky docks to accommodate all of the five nations sure. that travel in. If you're parking anywhere, you guys have not gone off of a gangplank. Marketplace, you did not get off on a gangplank. You got off on a magical rope that lowers Lock you down. And tackle. All right. Then I'll cast alarm just over those stairs. Okay. I'll exclude... Yeah, that's my bad. I should have been more specific. Like, unless you're you're yeah. docking in an air dock, there's no gangplank. Okay. It's a 
Here is a magical rope that allows you to go sure. off the ship. Okay. That's so, mine. No, Sorry, that's guys. all right. All good. So, instead of doing it around our beds, I'll do it the 20 by 20 foot square, essentially, over the stairs and kind of covering most of the... Okay. So, side to side. Of the dock. From of... the back, yeah. From the back of the stairs forward as far as it'll go. Okay. Um, and exclude our party, Damien, Para, and Simon. Okay. After I notice that she's done that, I'm going to go up to the deck where Oriana and I used to spar. Okay. You can sit there for a little while. Waiting for a certain tiefling to come follow me. <laughs> I was about to say, I, I get, I get, God gets a hit, I'm about to start throwing yeah. dice. She, I do, she, I, I got it. <laughs> I do have a question. When, when she goes to do that, because Sir Valerian would have been starting to go below deck, um, he is going to turn to, to, to Core as they pass and go, Core, um, one of these days, would you <coughs> mind teaching me meditation? <laughs> I I pray every night and I pray every morning but it seems like I need to, that there's something more that I can do for my my deity would you teach me someday not now of course we've got too much that's going on but I would I would appreciate because it seems like this I don't know if there's a trick or something to it or not, but I would like to learn how. Sure. I'd appreciate that. Yeah. Where did that conversation happen? Anywhere near me? Just on deck. No, not near you. Cool. And then he goes, goes down on deck. Be safe as he goes down. By now I would have figured out that core has not come down yet. Okay. Because I am not fair warning for people at home. Yes, I wrote down what I want to say, but it's because I suck at thinking of things <laughs> on the fly. Yes, <laughs> very specific things. But I have very specific feelings. <laughs> I went to find Simon after I was done casting. By the way. Okay. Assuming I find her. Yeah. On the deck. Meditating. care about you because you are real and fierce and care more than you think you do. Our monsters drive us forward on paths where we have to risk death constantly. But your soul matters to me even if it doesn't matter to you. I will do everything I can to stop her from claiming you. I don't care how broken you become. I've learned in my life and from my training that broken can be healed and it may be hard but I am in your life for a reason and I think this is why you only have the desire to keep put you only have to have the desire to keep pushing forward with me strength has nothing to do with capability you didn't get to learn that as a child and I'm really sorry for that strength comes from the willingness 
to accept yourself from where you are and persevere when things get hard. And you have done that. You are stronger than you think. And you think more of me than I do. That's my point. You just have to let me and trust me. that I do. So, if I could make the request for you to somewhat value your life for while we try to figure this out. Avoid reckless behavior in this adventure. I can acquiesce to the first Some reckless behavior is fine. Nothing to get you killed. I'm gonna do my best. And no more, you're not strong. Can't guarantee that. Nero's perspective or how I live my life. We all have things that we have to try to see differently in so many different ways. Or maybe that's just me and the two other people I have in my head. <laughs> Well, yours like you. Yeah. Mine's just creepy. Yeah. That's true. But I think she can hear you, so she... Oh, no. I know. <laughs> I know she can. I don't necessarily think that bothers her, though. She's scary or creepy. No. I think she takes pleasure in it. But, just, but kind of still like pacing a little bit. And it's like, okay, just have a better <laughs> I have one other thing. Can you kind of lean really close to her and whisper in her ear? God damn it! <laughs> okay. At least it wasn't a Han Solo. I know. I know. Yeah. <laughs> fuck. Okay. Cool. All right. I'm just gonna be emotional over here. <laughs> the DM broke. Ah <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You do that. Slowly, also, you know, enjoying the nighttime-ness outside, go back downstairs and go to bed. Okay. Yeah, right over there. Mm -mm. Okay. Cool. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> For too long. Okay, you too. You want to find Simon? <laughs> yes, I did. Uh, even with the warning, too much. Okay. <sighs> okay. Uh, he is facing his book, like really making sure he's gotten this right. Studying. Okay, did I did I copy the symbols correctly? Sure. And he is like facing his book and kind of goes. Hi, Simon. Hi, Talia. You okay? I'm fine. Just make sure I have to get this right. Absolutely. I don't want to bother you. No, 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 <laughs> no. Yeah. Okay. What's up? I was just curious and wanted to kind of 
watch you work. I don't know. This is all new to me still. So. Um, yeah. If, uh, if you want to go on the deck, I can show you the book and sure. just how how this is supposed to work. I mean, how it's going to work. Going to work. Going to work. And Whoa. he's he's a human, right? Yeah. Like tall. How high up? If I were to try and like touch his hand or his arm or something, how high up can I get without being weird? You're, like you're, you're three three foot. Three foot. He's five. He's five seven. So okay, so you, I could probably like, you can, stretch it like reach his elbow. Yeah, you can stretch and reach. Okay. Seven. Yeah. First of all, breathe. Good. Okay. Okay. Better? Yeah. Okay. I'm just a little nervous. Absolutely understandable. Thank you for doing this. I know that this is not simple magic by any means. No. Absolutely beyond my scope at the moment. A little complicated, but yeah. So, this wouldn't be possible without you. So. Just glad I can help. Me too. Come on, I'm, okay. let's see the circle. Kind of leads you up to the deck, and you do see the, damn it, nautical terms. <laughs> uh, Describe it. Bow. The bow. Bow is top. Bow is front. Bow is front. The bow of the ship does have a circle that could, looks like it will fit eight people. Bow, prow, forecastle. Thank you. This is what... You should just... Fuck your soldier background. Go sailor, nice. man. Yeah, I, I volunteered at the Santa Maria for it, quite a yes. few years of my life. Yes. Anyway, um, you do see this teleportation circle, and he, like, opens the book, and he shows you, he's like, okay, this rune is um, basically the lock-on, so it's that what's make it's the permanent. And then this sigil is anyone that is trying to teleport to it. Uh, this sigil is for no mishaps. Been there, done that. Sure. Terrifying. Uh, this sigil is for the arc the uh, arcane magics that exist in Eberron, and this sigil is for. Wait, am I boring you? No, absolutely not. Uh, okay, usually when I get to this sigil, people usually get bored. She's absolutely enthralled. Like. Uh, this sigil is for the um the binding of the teleportation circle, and then this sigil itself is for the uh, receiving and the transmission, basically, of... The actual open the door. Oh, open the door, get the hell in, yeah, yeah. That That's those sigils, and then the circles and all the lines you see is, well, the magical essences of it that make sure that, well, the four of you get back to us. It's not just... I honestly never knew what the lines and pretty things were other than to make them look different. So you can distinguish one from the other. They actually have meaning. Uh, yeah, it, it, it's... It's why the study of magic is a lot of fun, because it's... Otherwise, if you just look at this, it's a... Oh, hey, people can appear. But it's sure. to make sure that you appear here. Wherever you're coming from, we know where you're coming... Well, not we know where you're coming from, but... The teleportation circle knows where you're coming from. We can and recognize our incoming yeah, and, this. And make sure you're not, like, turned inside out or, oh, look, I'm missing an arm or a leg. I, we would prefer to come back with all of our... And I would like to make sure all of you and uh, you, uh, all of you come back with all your body parts. That's why I'm, like, very focused on th this. Sure. Sorry, just bookworm and now I've, I've been put on a uh, a literal spotlight and four lives depend on me to make sure this works and also make sure the invisibility works for you. Yeah, sorry. Don't apologize. I, no, no, I just I'm, 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 I'm glad you're interested. It's a lot of fun to share because usually most people just yeah. Yeah. I've had my party glaze over more than a few times when I try and explain how something works. Yeah. 
alchemist? Artificer. Alchemist. I... I kind of watched you one night making your potions using Paros Fire. Oh, you did? Uh, yeah, so I kind of caught on. That's fair. Why didn't you come say hi? I'm awkward. Hi. Hi. Okay, <laughs> I should... Uh, you were, you were doing your thing, kind of like how when my nose is in a book, I shut off the rest of the world, and I didn't want to interrupt that. And I saw you get really excited of whatever you did. Moments like that shouldn't be ruined. I like sharing moments like that. Just ask Cor. She's celebrated more than a couple of healing potions with me. I will remember that well. That's what I'm doing. Okay. I'm, I'm, well, I thank you for being interested. Always. I love learning. We had that conversation. Yes. I, I, gave, I gave you one of my spell books. Yes, you did. Has it been useful? It has. Good. Thank you. How long does this take? About an hour. Okay. Didn't want you to be up all night. No. I'll be up all night because of my own issues. Issues? Self-sabotaging, double-checking, triple-checking, questioning if, if the arcane I, symbol seven, is... Seven. Seven. Yeah. Breathe. You're good at what you do. Rest is going to be more important than going over your notes one more time. Okay. How long have you known the invisibility spell that you're going to do? Um, three weeks. Okay. A month. A month. Okay. I, I, yeah, a month. And you cast it successfully? Three times. And there you go. You know that you can do it successfully. You're more likely to do it successfully if you... Breathe. Sleep. Are you like what? Yes. Okay. Because I'm assuming he had to come down here to show me the book. Yeah. <laughs> this is how she gets people to pay attention to her because she's small. Focus, bitch. <laughs> Pretty much. Tiny gnome. Tiny gnome hands. Sleep. Okay. I could snap your neck if I wanted to. <laughs> okay. I will get some sleep. Get normal sleep. No more sleep. I mean, if I know Damien, we're going to be waking up at 5 a.m., so. He said first light. Yeah, you didn't specify which light, though. Was it the moons or the, the one sun? My alarm's going to be waking me up at 4, so. I'll see you then. Thanks for taking an interest. Always. If you get excited about something and have nobody to share it with. I'll share it with you. Please. Alright. Good night. Good night. He does not follow. He is. Yeah. But she was going to kind of walk like 10, 15 feet away and just kind of watch him for a little bit. Okay. And then move it. Alright. In that 10 to 15 minutes, he's got his book and he's just like, But he does notice, and he's like, takes that 15 minute shut the book, and kind of like, okay. So, Verlander, what are you doing? Because I can't focus on these two right now. <laughs> the reason I was very intently staring at you yeah. it wasn't oh. just because of the RP. I'm going to be easy. Because I'm going to just start off with my, my evening prayer. Um, that I normally take on one knee with mm -hmm. my sword, and then when I finish my prayer, I just kind of stop for a second and just think, because I'm really interested in this concept. 
and sits down cross-legged on the floor. In his full play armor. And I was going to say very difficultly, so very slowly, which now he's probably pretty much trapped. He's going to have to have somebody help him up, but takes the blade and holds it in his lap, almost like an offering in his lap, and then bows his head and closes his eyes and doesn't say a word. Okay. And just, yeah, because he doesn't quite understand what meditation is. Right. He just. He's just emulating what he, he's seeing. Yeah, he's imitating. Yeah. And is just thinking about tomorrow. Thinking about what's going to happen tomorrow. You know, he's running, running the plan through his head, and the whole time he's running it through his head, he's just thinking hope. Just hope that this goes well and hope that we can achieve what needs to be done. And that's just the only feeling he has is just just absolute guttural hope. All right. So taking your long rest. I mean, there's extensive journaling that happens before that, I guess. Uh, I, I always figure journaling happens. And meditation happens. And meditation, and cleaning your goblin child. Yes. Poor Odio. <laughs> Odio <sighs> okay. So as you all, um, three, you two, oh, you sleeping together, I assume... You by yourself, sort of laying by yourself, just the normal sleeping patterns. Right? Oh yeah. They've pushed two bunks together, and we're hanging out on our bunks. Yes. Uh, Sir Valerian. Yes. As you make your prayers to Dalora, of hope, and you begin to take that, as you take your long rest, you begin to dream. Hopefully, a good dream for once. You dream of a moment that you don't know has happened, will happen, or is happening. But it is of a human male with black hair, Talking to a figure you've never seen before, but wearing the golden plate armor that you've seen been mm-hmm. worn before. And you hear, for the first time in a while, you hear that calm, soothing voice of knowledge, of valor. Pieces are beginning to move. It's time, Sir Valerian. Now is your dream. Um, Talia. Yeah. You have a decent night rest. You do begin to dream of Simon teaching you of these arcane sigils, of these runes that he uses to teleport, and that what ha- just happened on the deck with him. But in you do have that slight dream of home. Not a, not the bad dream of home. Not that moment. But you dream of home. And you feel that, that gentle warmth wash over you. And as that gentle 
warmth watch over you, you see those flashes of image of Sir Valerian, of OU, of Kor, of Oriana, of Ali. And as you all, and ha, as you have these visions, of these flashes of images, the last image is of a, a humanoid figure with green skin and green hair. And then you see a abandoned city with a dimensional seal in the very center of it. That's your dream. Um, Sir Valerian, Talia, I need you to leave the room. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> She's taking the stein. It's Kick. almost empty. Kicks a can. Yep. Do I have enough time to smoke? Oh yeah, this, uh, oh. Uh, the episode is ending after this. Oh, oh boy. We're ending on another whisper. Uh, okay. Son of a... Yeah, glares. Um, before we begin, um, I need you to make charisma saving throws. Both of us? Both. Oh, I don't like that face. It's an 11. Okay, 11. 10. On brand. <laughs> So as you both, as you both fall asleep, trying to calm your minds of everything, everything of <laughs> the day that you you both had just had of being attacked by Hawkhead, of being corrupted by Hawkhead's minions, and then the Flint Keep and what had transpired on the deck. You, you both do find sleep. And as sleep finally grasps you, you just hear that voice. It's in below the keep. And as that voice echoes through your mind, You feel that existential moment of being pulled out of your own body. So we're basically doing a meditation without actually doing a meditation. A meditation without meditation, okay. yes. And you're taken within the keep. Into what feels like the center of this keep. Below ground level. And you see an orb growing, glowing bright red. And in the center of this orb is what looks like a key that could fit in, a little hole that could a key could fit into. And as you see this orb, and you're starting to be drawn out of Flint Keep, you see what look like a lot of people that are supposed to be in charge of it watch over this, oh, watch over Flint Keep, donning the armor of the Golden Order. And that, that is your dream. And that is where we end tonight's episode. Do we get our long rest at least? Oh yeah, you get your long rest. Okay. You're good on the long rest. Okay, I kicked those two out so they're gone. I can't even like wave to them and be like, hey, come back in. So. Uh, <laughs> of course. Of course. Uh, of course she wants the orb too. 
there's a keyhole in the orb. In the yeah. orb. So it's something that is is this the orb. The orb. Is this the orb? It's not the orb thing. No. This, that's yeah. Red. That yeah. yeah. That's why I gave you guys I yeah. gave you guys that little text whisper. Um, just for clarification. Yes, clarification because I knew this question this was going to happen. come up. Um, no. So that's the end of this episode. Uh, we will be back on Sunday. It is Friday for us, so we're going to take a day off because I have to work. Yay. Yeah. 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 And we have our other campaign. Our other campaign. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So we will see you next episode. We love you. Be respectful. Ch uh, check our merch. Give love to Dice Envy also because, duh, yes. Go order that. Super it is super, comfy. super comfy. <laughs> Follow us on Twitter, on Instagram. We already did our 100 follower, 100 follower giveaway on Twitter. Our next stage is a 50 subscriber. Subscribers on YouTube. We haven't decided what yet, but we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out next episode. So we will see you next time. Oh, also, we're doing a Halloween one shot. Yay! Yeah, check it out. We're all dressing up. I know you two are just like. Oh yeah. <laughs> you guys don't even know. All right, so, um, yes, we will see you next episode. We love you. Be respectful. And, yeah, here we go. <laughs> love you guys.